Hey, what's up? Welcome to it. Welcome to my garage. This is my first episode where I'm going to be doing these links in my garage. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be making it look a little bit better in the future. I've got my daughter's llama hanging out in the background there just for a little bit of interest. In today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down a music video, sharing loads of really cool behind the scenes footage of a music video that I shot almost halfway across the world. So it all started out with a phone call on a Wednesday night from a longtime client of mine. He called me, he said, listen, Carl, I've got a, a very cool music video for us to film. It's Akon, David Guetta and Master KG, and we've got to film it in the Dominican Republic. So I was super psyched. But then he said to me, the only thing is we don't have a month to prepare. We've got to shoot it this Sunday. So on that Friday, I was on the longest haul flight of my life, nearly 30 hours to reach the Dominican Republic. And after arriving in the Dominican Republic at like two in the morning, I went straight to bed for a couple of hours of rest. Next day, woke up and hit the ground running. While I was still here in South Africa, I'd reached out to a production company or a couple of production companies in the Dominican Republic because I needed some sort of like local crew who would understand the lay of the land, get me crew, get me gear, get me cast. Cause I had nothing. I didn't even have a concept. And out of like the five production agencies that I reached out to, only one of them took me seriously. The other four thought I was making a mockery out of them, like I, I was having a laugh, but I wasn't, I was being dead serious. So this local production crew was super dope and it just shows you the power of Instagram. They immediately took us out on a location scout so that we could sort of formulate our concepts based on the locations that we had at our disposal. While we were out on our location scout, I had a translator called Carla. She was also the producer and the choreographer for my dancers. And she was great because she could convey my English language into Spanish so that I could communicate efficiently with those that I was working with. Now, when I go on location scout or when I have the luxury to do so, I make sure to take loads of pictures. I also take very careful notes of where the sun has been and where it's going to be at different parts of the day. The sun's sitting over there. Uh huh. Right, sitting over there. Okay. Ideally, I'd want the sun behind yeah. us, yeah, right? Yeah. And one of the ways I do that is by using a really cool app that you can download. It's called sun surveyor it's absolutely free and it's a game changer if you out on a location scout you can tell at what time of the day that specific setting that you're looking at will be lit the best for this performance shot with akon we need to use natural light so we can't even though we're going back down there you don't want to be in a place where you're not getting sun yeah. and the ideal road that you actually want is the side road like a road we wanted to track down yeah in fact that's the road we're probably going to use but we're going to find the exact spot now he's singing to the camera nice to see where you've been and she's going in front of him like this when they're at the top over here he's got her he's holding her and while he's singing the steady cam is revolving around him. once i've done that i've taken all the pictures and i've noted where the best times of the day will be to shoot in those certain locations. Then I draft my call sheet and schedule the shoot day. The next day we were up bright and early and my very first objective was to get to know my local crew. When you are on set, especially if you are working with new crew or cast, you need to get to know them. You need to have some sort of a rapport with them, even in a limited amount of time. You need to try your best to go beyond just a greeting. There is nothing for me that is worse than a sterile set, a dead set. You need to have some sort of vibe going on, or otherwise it's not going to be a very fun day. As you come up like that, that's great. Um, 
and over here we go up and then we start going around doing an orbit you'll see how beautiful it looks. i like to create a happy environment on set just because it becomes so much easier for you as a director to communicate with your cast and crew if you walk onto set as a director who wants to put their foot down and be full of ego and show everyone who's boss it's not going to work out really well for you and to be honest with you i don't know what your opinion is but i don't like working with people who are just not nice so obviously you want to demand your set you want to control Control your set but you know there's a fine line where you can take it too far and just seem like an absolute state and i don't want that to happen to you so just be very careful And if you're battling to break the ice, you can just do what I did, which was embarrass myself in front of Akon and Master KG on our very first shot. When the Steadicam operator was walking backwards, I was trying to hop, skip and jump backwards and I just fell on my ass and embarrassed myself. But luckily, Akon and Master KG are just regular human beings and they humored me, which made me feel a lot better. <laughs> so check out KG, instead of you guys always being... Oh, what happened? Um, I took a somersault backwards. Um, it, it's, uh, I'm glad no one filmed it, including yourself. Because, uh, but you know what I did? As soon as I fell, I didn't, uh, I didn't make a scene. I just popped straight back up like an acrobat. Right, I just want to take a quick break there and thank Sony for bringing this episode to you. I've just released a tutorial video on the Sony Alpha website, which you can watch right now absolutely for free. All you have to do is click on the very first link in the description of this video, fill in your details, become a member of the Sony Alpha website. But not only can you watch that tutorial video, but you can watch a plethora of other amazing filmmaking tutorials on the Sony Alpha website. Become a member today. Let's get back to the video. The most hectic part of the day for me was at the end of the day for the main performance scene. We had Akon, uh, Master KG, the cast, the dancers, the extras. But then because we were in the like local neighborhood or favela as they call it, uh, we had loads of bystanders, which is understandable. There are two megastars on sets like in their neighborhood. It's to be expected. But for me as a director, as someone who had to control the set, it was difficult. find yourself in a similar situation it's very easy to get overwhelmed and you don't want to be getting overwhelmed on sets when you have people relying on you right so you've got to keep your sense of direction you've got to find the calm within the storm and just eat it up internalize it just trust on your knowledge and your practice that you will be able to pull it together if you don't if you don't internalize it and you have a breakdown on set you're just going to ruin the whole thing so even though i look like I'm in control here, which I am. Uh, inside, I am having a bit of an internal struggle and trying to keep it together. And I just want you to know that even the top crew members and top cast in the world experience pressure and feeling overwhelmed and having imposter syndrome and they feel like they can't do the job as good as someone else like i can almost guarantee it the thing is we internalize it and eat it up when you have a challenge it's an opportunity to grow when you do that the sense of accomplishment that you feel is hard to describe I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this. I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm the only one who takes on challenges. I'm just saying some people are watching this right now and they kind of they kind of don't really like facing challenges all too much. They do, but they don't face it to the full extent. And I just want to implore those people when you face with a challenge on sets, like being overwhelmed because there's just so many people around and lots of noise, but you have to control the set. Take upon that challenge and 
dominate it, trample it beneath your feet. Over there, okay, and then you just join it, join it, here we go, guys. Let's go, 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 let's go,